I'm here now at the Never A Crime exhibition at the convent in Abbotsford and my painting or my picture is on the wall behind me there and I think the girls have done a fantastic job. I really love the fact of me just standing there with the mask on as well as the fan and showing people who I really am. about the exhibition and wow, I guess that it was a very touching and very moving experience to know that it, my mask it could uh, give a sense of uh, gratitude to the, all the elderly people in Australia for all the pain and for all, all the struggles that they had to cope uh, for us to be here at this moment after my equality has passed. Um, yeah, so this is just my mask. It's about, um, uh, it's like, yeah, like an egg symbol, you know, sort of showing uh, about the gay struggle and the shells are breaking on the outside. Um, but we're also looking outwards and onwards and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, and it kind of represents my struggle um, with being gay and I hope these sorts of things help make it easier for other gay men to have an easier path. So, yeah. Really enjoyed taking part at this workshop. A uh, really great way of meeting a group of people that you would not normally meet um, and just a really good way of sort of having conversations um, around pride and history um, that's not taught in schools and so you need to search it out. But really enjoyed it and highly recommend it for anyone else. Making the Mask Project was an incredibly rewarding experience for, for me. Uh, it allowed me some time to reflect on what's important about being a gay man and uh, uh, the, the ideals that I, uh, um, uh, I uh, used to run my life basically. Um, uh, it also allowed me to time to look at the timeline of events that uh, have made me grow and uh, one of the key ones for me is that to listen to the stories of, our, of the elders and uh, know that the reason that I can be who I am today is purely because of the paths they walked and uh, they were um, you know punished for in a way. Um, yeah, I, was, I felt really, I guess, honoured to be a part of this because like as I was saying earlier tonight as well, I think it's so important that we have those kind of intergenerational relationships and connections in the community. Um, people of my age and younger, I mean, it's really, I think, vital that we kind of know our queer history. So putting this mask together and being a part of the project kind of helped me to not only talk about my experience and my stories, but to hear from others who had very different experiences pre-decriminalisation. So I hope through this work and through future works we can kind of keep that knowledge sharing going because I think it's really really important so thank you to Catherine and Lisa for letting me be a part of it.